everyone! Welcome back to Adventures in Sunhaven! So I was just doing a little bit of digging to see where we can find our last two spring fish. Oh, look at that! Some of our crops are still watered. Oh, doesn't that make us feel so much better? <laughs> so much less watering for us to do. Um, right, so I looked into those last two spring fish and it looks like we need to change our fishing location. It looks like we can try fishing in town or we can go back out to the eastern forest and uh, do a little fishing out there. Since our days in spring are getting a little numbered, I think we're going to make it a bit of a priority. It also looks like they're a bit more of a rare fish type to catch, so I'm not sure if our fishing skill is quite high enough to meet the challenge, but we will see. Uh, let's put some more of our fish away. We did have one more we can keep for our fish tank when we get one. And we did need to take one of these back to the museum. Okay, good, that worked. Now, I would have to look up further, but I'm pretty sure the borders around the fish, like the gray areas, the blue, and then we have a golden colored one, which was the neon tetra, and even the purple for the seahorse. I'm pretty sure that's like a different quality or different level of difficulty, like depending on how common or uncommon the type of fish is. Like these mud catfish are gray and we catch quite a few of them. So they're pretty common along with these red tie guppies. So I'm guessing the higher the color level, the more rare <clears throat> and difficult the fish is to catch. Because I think one of the most difficult fish we caught was the golden carp. And I think that was a gold colored fish as well. Let's just move our little neon tetra up there. And we may need the green beans for cooking recipes. So let's keep those. And we might as well get rid of our ore. Let's just give us as much space as possible, especially since we know we intend to do some fishing today. We'll just throw that wallpaper in there for the moment. Oh, me and the controller. <laughs> <clears throat> it looks like our crops have different colored, different colored borders too. I wonder if it's because we bought some of them at the farming shop or if it's just because they take longer to grow or I'm not sure. I'll keep this short. I don't mind you so much at least. You're still pretty annoying, but well, you can hang around the library if you want. Just don't bug me. Okay, we kind of knew that we weren't Amanda's favorite person. It's confirmed. To Farmer Pip, as you might know, Sunhaven's Lantern Festival will be held on the 28th of this month. Due to some miscalculations, we are unfortunately short on fabric. Without enough fabric, some citizens will be unable to make their lantern wish this year. So you can see the gravity of the situation. Being the town's farmer, I'd hope you could help remedy the problem. Please visit me today in the town hall if you can help. Regards, Bernard. Oh my, lots of mail today. Hey, I was on a bit of a slump with my art recently, but something about our chats has left me feeling really inspired. I really had to thank you, Pip. It feels good to be back in the swing of things, at least when it comes to art. How cool, we inspired somebody. Okay, it sounds like fabric is going to be something that we need, and since we've already crafted ourselves a loom... Why don't we get some fabric going? <laughs> uh, I wonder how long it'll take. It doesn't look like it'll take too long. Let's clear out our cooking area over here. I'm gonna try and not have to make, oops. <laughs> we kind of just uprooted our cooking pot. I'm glad that didn't actually destroy it because 
That would have been a little sad. Oh, we need to do better at checking our little skill down here. Well rested, attack damage increased by 10. So today would be a good day to do some combat. It's too bad it wasn't like a increase to fishing somehow because that is our plan for the moment. But you know, things can change. Okay, cooking pot down. Oh, look at that. We can make two peas in a pod. Uh, okay. We don't get any permanent stats from there. Like something like tomato soup is something we should focus on. That will give us permanent attack damage. Oh, and defense potatoes. Oh, look at all the goodies in here. Even cookies increase attack damage, but we do have quite a few cookies we can eat. Popcorn will increase our movement speed permanently. Okay, and that will do mana. Okay, so at the moment, what I am seeing is, oh, we should stop selling our crabs. We could get some spell damage going. Oh, yep, yeah, that's where some of the lettuce is coming into play. All of the salads want some lettuce. Oh, we can make this one. Let's get that crafting. I'm wondering if it's grabbing straight out of our chest because I know we didn't have all of that on us. So that's pretty cool if that is the case. Okay, so it looks like in our future, we should be planting more tomatoes and corn for certain. No doubt about that. A citrus salad. What is this one? Green spice. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of different things in here. Noodles. Strawberry salad. See, so yeah, we really need to pay attention of what just regenerates what we have lost and what will actually give us permanent stats because it's definitely the ones that will give us the permanent stats that we want to be putting a large amount of effort into making. And right, we're wasting some of the day just by checking through that. So tomatoes and corn are on our to grab list. <laughs> We'll suddenly just have like a very big garden of tomatoes and corn just sprouting up so we can run like the wind. <laughs> but again, the more of a certain item that you eat that gives you permanent stats, it will give you a nice increase at the start and then it'll be very slow to stack later. Not that it won't continue stacking, it's just you're going to have to eat a lot of it to continue to up your points. But that is okay. Alright, how much cloth do we have? Three, so that means that there's two more still crafting. Oh, let's not empty our chest until we're actually done breaking things. We have more honey. There we go. Wow, we have a lot of clutter on our poor little farm. <laughs> Krusty really did a number. <laughs> It's okay, we'll have it cleared up soon enough. You know what, I am just standing here and we could just insta-break. <laughs> I already forgot that we had the spell and if you have it, why not use it? Like, look how quickly that cleared up everything. Is there anything neat down here? No treasure chest looking to be opened. We just hopped over the log, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go check and see how our crafting is going. Oh, I did not see this little cluster in there. It's all hiding behind a tree. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of this and then we'll go check the loom. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, on our way, we are going to move the coal out of there so it'll actually move across there we go and it still has one more 
I don't know that we'll actually need five. It just seems like five is just a fairly nice rounded number. So <laughs> we're just doing a little guessing. If we need less, we need less. If we need more, well, I guess then at that point we're making the trip back. Oh, I don't really want to break anything else. Don't want to have to go back into the chest and have to try and move stuff around again. Here we go. Hopefully we have enough fabric. So that'll be kind of cool. We're going to get to see a nice little Sunhaven festival at the end of the season, which is again reminding us that our days are very numbered. Is Anne down in, in the area? Uh, not looking like it. Not sure what the exclamation mark is over there. We may investigate at some point, but not this moment. Okay, what do we have? Oh my goodness, he wants another loom. Okay, what else do we got going on here? One hot sauce. Does anybody remember how badly we got beat for this last time? <laughs> Is it time to potentially redeem ourselves? <laughs> I guess we can try. Uh, it'd be really nice if we could just bump into Anne right about now. Okay, a town hall. Oop. Of course, we're proud to welcome such an esteemed professor to Sunhaven. Truly, it is our honor. The honor is ours, Archmage. Sunhaven's fame and prestige reaches all the way to the heavenscape. To know our humble town has achieved such notoriety even in the home of the angels. Truly, it is we who is honored. What's happening here? Oh, Pip, you're just in time to meet Sunhaven's esteemed visitors. Who are they? This is Doying, a professor of the Great Academia and one of the most distinguished scholars of magic. He and his family will be staying in Sunhaven while he conducts research here. Isn't that exciting? It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Pip. May I ask what it is you do in Sunhaven? <laughs> uh, I like beating up monsters. <laughs> Fishing. Fishing and mining. That's been our two things. I'm a Sunhaven. I am Sunhaven's farmer. Ah, so you own the farm. At your age, that is a very impressive feat. Well done. Oh, Professor, didn't you mention in your letter that you had a daughter? She's staying with you, is she not? Hmm, speak of the angel. She's late. Oh. I wasn't expecting. I, I'm sorry. You have kept the Archmage waiting, Mion. Tis, didn't your father tell you how important this meeting would be? You're right, mother. I'm sorry. I lost track of time and I... I... Enough. It doesn't matter now. You must learn to show up on time, Mion. Oh dear, it's all right. If Myong was a bit late, it isn't like I... Please, Archmage, you have a busy schedule. Myong does not. I think it's really okay. I've taught my daughter to respect the time of others. I expect her to act like it. I'm sorry, I've ruined everything, haven't I? Please, everyone, let me be the first to welcome Myong to Sunhaven. Yeah, welcome, Myong. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. If somebody knows the correct pronunciation, please do let me know. Oh, ho, ho, hello to both of you, too. I've been well. Shall the new family like to accompany me on a tour of the town? There's lots to show. 
That sounds lovely, Archmage. Lead the way, please. <laughs> of course, right this way, everyone. And thank you for taking the time to meet Doyoung and his family, Pip. I hope you all enjoy Sunhaven. First, you simply must visit our library. Well, those are definitely new characters since I have played. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what her story is. She seems like an intriguing character. Okay, Bernard, here we go. Oh, no, Nathaniel, we weren't trying to talk to you. Um, yeah, we're not gonna... There we go, Bernard. Pip, thank goodness you showed up. I was beginning to worry. As my letter stated, we are short on fabric for this year's Lantern Festival. The supply in the town hall's attic was partly devoured by silk moss, unfortunately. I worry the festival won't be quite as grand without a little outside assistance. We need two fabric for this year's festival to be a success. Could you possibly have that prepared by next week? I'm on it. Thank goodness you're helping me out of a difficult position, Pip. I'm truly grateful. Please deliver those ingredients to me at the town hall. Any time before the day of the Lantern Festival would be ideal. That is the 28th of this month, as a reminder. Well, Bernard, we are going to make your day because we have extra. <laughs> Let's see, this looks like everything we need for the Lantern Festival. Remarkable work, Pip. Reliable as ever. Most of the time, not always. <laughs> Here, take the gold. I was going to use to buy these materials. You might want to save it for the event, as there will be lots of event items to purchase. No problem. Okay, now he tells us. Oh, okay. uh, maybe I'll grab farming experience. Level 20 farming. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's finish off that seed maker. We are almost at the earthquake spell. And that will uh, do a spell that will till the soil for us so we don't have to use our hoe. Not as exciting as the rain cloud spell. I'm very much looking forward to that one. But there we have it, level 20 and yet another skill. Okay, can we find Anne? Yes, we can. So knowing that we can now purchase a bunch of stuff at the upcoming Lantern Festival, I am suddenly glad that we haven't bought our seeds yet for that bee house. Uh, and where are you? In the music store, it looks like. I wonder if she enjoys music. She must. What's that? A stone of tongues? Well, yeah, of course I know what that is. I actually purchased it not that long ago at an auction. A perfectly reputable auction, of course. I like how she had to specifically define that. It was quite the investment, so I'm determined to get my money's worth for it once I find a buyer. What? Really? You need it? For a quest? That Elios the Sun Dragon himself gave you? All right, listen, I've seen you around now a few times and I feel I can actually trust you, Pip. In fact, if you're willing to do something for me, I'll even loan it, loan you it for the time being. Sound fair? So here's the deal. I actually have no idea where the stone is right now. Don't worry, it's hidden and safe. I just don't know exactly where. Here's a merchant secret. Keep your good stuff hidden. I have Duke run off into the forest and hide all of my most valuable pieces. He's great at digging, though his memory is awful, so retrieval is always a process. Go out and find all my treasures and I'll loan you the stone. Fair? Great. Just search around for any disturbed dirt piles <clears throat> in the forest around town and bring my goods back to me. Sounds fair enough to me. 
Okay, it looks like we have four treasures to dig up. <laughs> Treasure hunt indeed. Now, I believe the forest she is talking about is actually the forest west of our farm. So let's go check that out quickly. <laughs> we do still want to get a little bit of fishing done, but we want to see if we can quickly grab these uh, sacks of treasure and get them back to Anne before the day is done. <laughs> it is going to be very good for us if we can just keep progressing the storyline a little bit. It seems like we have a lot of quests to do before we uh, actually venture outside of Sunhaven, which is not a bad thing. Oof, I was going to say, are we going to have to uh, break some more rocks just to get out? <laughs> okay, we don't travel out here very often. Oh, I know we're going to fill up our inventory because how can we just ignore all of the goodies that are out here waiting for us? <laughs> Temptation. Okay, I think that is one of the treasure piles there. Um, pickaxe? There we go, sack of treasure. <clears throat> and I'm also going to have to keep in mind that we had agreed to do that request to try and get our redemption. Is there any treasure up here? This would have been a good area to start. I mean, all these little level one leafies <laughs> might have helped us up our combat easily without taking too much damage. So if you're starting a file in Sunhaven, keep that in mind. Okay, that one. And I see we have someone down here. Whoops, grab our silk. Injured fighter. Hmm, who's there? Oh, hello. It hurts to speak. Are you a doctor? I could really use some help. I'll go get some help. I feel bad because we're not going to get it right away, but, um, he looks like he'll be okay for a moment or two, I hope. We'll, uh, take care of the little leafies for him so he's not, uh, in immediate danger. Ooh, look at all those goodies. Trail mix. Earth crystal. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, help him out before the clinic potentially closes. <laughs> I'm like, it is getting pretty late in our day and we've only found two. So just two of the treasure piles we found now. Ooh, these guys are getting a little tougher. Oh, and there's more fish. Okay. Look at all that silk we're grabbing. It's so neat how the skill trees can just drastically increase that kind of thing. Okay, so that is three out of four. So we still need one more. At least we're getting some combat experience by going out here. And by collecting everything, we are also getting some exploration. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, now we're going to have a choice whether we want to go up or to the left. Uh, yep, I think we'll stick with that one. And let's just pass on our farm. That is a spell. Yeah, let's go with that one for now. Uh, woo, an elite one. We must have made them angry. Oh, we just about walked past that chest. Oh, we can open it. Why not? A cracked mage's ring. Hmm, interesting. Uh, did we go the wrong way? Oh, there's the treasure pile. Perfect. Oh my goodness, look at all this good stuff. <laughs> I just, it's too hard to leave it all. Okay. Just finished clearing that up there. Get our last sack of treasure. Good stuff. And the berries. Wow, we just got like 69 experience points just right there. And it looks like we can just hop down over here. Okay. 
Oh, we want to get the spring tokens. That's kind of cool. We can get spring tokens just by coming out here and taking care of some of the little enemies, I guess. The leafies are really cute though, so I kind of feel really bad hurting them. I kind of want to just befriend one and bring it home to our farm and have it be our little pet. Lug all of Anne's booty back to her. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty funny. Okay, what do we got for inventory space? We should see if we can dump anything off quickly. I don't know if we'll be able to snag Anne, but we will give it a go. Okay, let's move some same stuff over there. Uh, we don't want to waste time looking at any of the rings at the moment, so we'll have to look at them another day. Okay. See if we can spot the doctor and Anne. Uh, Kate, the doctor is by the picnic table. Anne is potentially in her house at this hour. Ooh, more berries. Uh, no, we didn't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. We're not trying to be rude, I swear. <laughs> oh, and just more goodies. <laughs> this game is terrible for someone like me that's like, oh, goody, distraction. <laughs> okay. Hey neighbor, I'm Dr. Warnhart. You look pretty healthy to me, but come see me if you're feeling under the weather. Wow, thanks. I'm Pip. Glad to meet you, doctor. You can call me Dr. Warnhart if you don't want to call me doctor, but really, I don't mind either way. Uh. Okay. Well... We did try to get help. <laughs> the doctor, I guess, is off duty and doesn't want to assist. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now let's take one more look at our map and see if we can spot Anne. And yeah, she's in her house, so... I don't think we're going to get to see her, so we went and grabbed all her booty, and we won't be able to return it to her till tomorrow. That stinks. Oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, let's try and do some fishing in the eastern forest here. Oh, that guy's just fishing away. Oh, distraction. <laughs> Gotta get them apples, you know, every little bit. It just helps. Oh, more goodies. Gotta grab it now because, you know, later it will be time for bed pretty well and we'll be racing back and I wonder how long it will take to get back. Okay, I'm gonna hope that this is far enough into the eastern forest as we need to be to try and catch these last couple of spring fish. I think we can also catch them in that little pond in town so we can try to do more fishing there as well because this is quite a trek out. Oops. Because we could probably catch more fish if we had stayed in town. But I think they have like different chances for appearing based on where you're fishing. And it looked like this was maybe the better spot to fish for the couple that we were wanting. But again, the chance for them to actually appear are <laughs> quite small. <laughs> so it could take a lot of fishing. Oh, what is this one? A red-eyed piranha? Oh, that's kind of creepy. Oh, can we catch the attention of that fish? Oh, we got it. We just want to stay as close to the edge as we can for when we have to scurry back. A red snapper. <laughs> I just like the different expressions on some of these fish. They're quite entertaining. Come on, fish. <laughs> oh, that one's 
all excited. Perfect. Now I do know that once you get far enough down the fishing skill tree, we can actually increase our chances for catching uh, more rare and uncommon fish. So that would really help us in what we're trying to do. So it's kind of hard because I don't know that we'll actually get our fishing skill level up high enough to unlock those pieces of the skill tree. So we might just have to rely on the small chance that they may spawn and we may be able to catch them. <laughs> Time will tell. Unfortunately, worst case scenario, if we don't catch them this spring, we will just have to try and catch them next spring. But how exciting would it be if we could actually get that spring aquarium finished in the first year? but there's a good chance that we maybe should have dedicated more time to fishing if that was something we really wanted to do. <laughs> oh, come on, fish. Okay, it's getting pretty late. I'm thinking we should head back. We can always try out that little fishing pond closer to the farm if we have a little extra time. Or we dare to take a little extra time. <laughs> We're getting very close to fishing level 22. I do really like that Sunhaven shows you how far along you are in a given skill. It just, for me, it kind of gives me that incentive that I'm like, I'm so close to the next level. I just want to keep doing the things to unlock that next level. And then when I'm at the bottom, I'm just like, okay, I can go do something else until I do enough random things that it gets high enough up that I'm like, yes, let's get that next level. I don't know. It's kind of like an incentive for me. <laughs> oh, wonderful. There's already a fish here. Come on, little fish. Oh yes, I like it when they just pop up one right after the other. It's just fantastic. And I'll just try to catch them as quickly as possible so we can try and get as many fish as possible. I'm not sure if we're looking for a big fish or a little fish with the types of fish we have left to catch. Oh. Level 22 fishing. That's what we like to see. So, oh, fishing. So I think it's over. So yeah, we're actually not that far away. Rare, epic, and legendary fish spawn rates increase. So this is the one that we probably need in order to have a better chance at catching our missing spring fish. Ooh. So that one would make the fish in the water actually sparkle so we knew that they were the rare types. That's cool. Stick the landing. Increase the perfect catch area. Ooh. Okay, so let's just do that one and finish it off. And then we can decide between these two going forward. So we're not far off. I mean, we're still like, I think it's five skills we need to do in order to unlock the next level. So we're still quite a few levels away from being able to get it, but oh my goodness. Okay, fish, we are not going home until we catch you. You're not even that quick. <laughs> there we go. That's just me not paying attention. Rainbow trout, oh my goodness, the fish are just like continuously spawning and I'm like, I want to know if you're one of the fish we're missing. <laughs> there we go. And just another rainbow trout. Okay, come on fish, are you one of the ones we're looking for? Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's just a catfish. 
Oh, so disappointing. And I was excited for a second there. I'm like, maybe it's going to be one of the fish. So we didn't succeed in catching any more of the spring fish today, which is unfortunate, but we have an idea of where to look. So that kind of helps a little bit, I hope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll do our best to try and see if we can snag those in the last couple days that we have. We definitely do want to sleep before we pass out. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to subscribe and or leave a like. I always enjoy having you guys follow along on our little adventures. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.